Um, well, as the CEO of a startup company, this is a really good opportunity to actually catch up with a, a range of different VC companies. Uh, you know, you can go around and try to meet them all individually, but a conference like this just allows us to catch up with uh, a, a number of them all at the same time. Yeah, more innovation is one of those interesting things when it comes to agriculture because it all comes back to the actual grower and what they're wanting to see in terms of driving their businesses further forward. Um, I think that uh, organisations have to be careful because there's a lot of really cool technology out there that everyone gets very excited about, but it's all about how it translates into dollars. So I think that, that's the, you know, there's a lot of interesting things out there, but as I said, it all comes back to how much money people can make out of it. Effectively, it's going to be efficiency and effectiveness. Uh, so if technologies can deliver those couple of things, then it's got a better chance to get adopted. It, it's pretty much across the board. Like, you know, at, at the conference, uh, there's a lot of talk about big data and a lot of other you know, you know, new technologies, drones and things like that. But when you talk to investors, it's really about you know, how a technology can carve out a niche and how it's unique amongst everything else. So while, say, something like big data is catching the headlines, uh, a lot of investors are very interested in companies you know, like ours, you know, next-gen plants, we're into plant virus resistance work. And even though traits aren't seen at the moment as being at the forefront of, of new technologies, uh, with new breeding techniques, it's actually about to turn around. And uh, you know, the ability to get traits into crops without having to worry about the regulatory, you know, again, assuming that a lot of that comes through, is going to be very interesting. Um, probably one of the key things is communication. Um, it seems like with a lot of the technologies, it, it's, it's around trying to communicate to the end users the value. Uh, so that's probably one of the key things that I, I took out of a lot of the sessions was, uh, you know, everyone gets very excited about their technologies, but it's how we communicate that to the end users and get them excited about it. Uh, for, for us, it's actually about talking to people and explaining what our vision is and how we've actually taken the approach about how uh, our business model is, is structured around what the growers are looking for, understanding how our technology can actually add value to the growers, but then equally how our technology and the delivery of our technology can fit into existing supply chains and uh, meet the needs of our supply chain partners. Yeah, governments um, can play a whole range of different roles, but for us, one of the things that governments have started to drop off on is uh, having demonstration areas. So uh, extension used to be a, a key focus of many government agencies, and I suppose I can I talk more about what's happening in Australia. Um, there's not that many government-run uh, extension organisations anymore, or demonstration farms, or areas where new technologies can get trialled. And so it's actually quite difficult to get new technologies into the marketplace because growers can't actually see it in practice and seeing it being trialled over extended periods of time. And so um, I, I think that's a key area where governments can actually support that whole adoption of new technology. Uh, difficult to say. I, I'd have to say ours, but you said I have to drop that out. But, uh, but no, there's a lot of really interesting companies and, and interesting technologies around the place. Um, you know, the big thing is, um, I think, out, outside of the ag investors, a lot of other investors see, um, see agriculture investing as not being as, as sexy, if you like, as the, the ICT sector. Um, but I think that there's a lot of really solid foundation type technologies coming out of agriculture at the moment that, uh, that over time will transform the way that, uh, that we grow food and, um, yeah, around, us, around the world.